hello beautifuls um this might i'm gonna post this as soon as i'm finished recording it so it might come up immediately it might come up tomorrow who the hell knows but i am recording it in the early day of wednesday right um I, I took a day off of work, uh, you know, I, need, I needed a personal, <laughs> I needed a, a fucking mental health day, um, and I took it, so, you know, on my mental health day, I'm, I'm relaxing at home, and I just thought, you know, let me just, let me just be bold and brave and brazen enough to just, you know, share this message that's been on my spirit for some time now, and when I say sometimes, I mean, I, I have been feeling this way um, for months. Probably long. <laughs> probably long. Probably need longer, but it's just, I, in the, in the wake of Roe versus Wade, where all the males are um, looking, all the males are beginning to look suspicious <laughs> to croning black women, right? To crone and black women at this point, all of the you know, after Roe versus Wade was turned, I mean, any any woman really with a fucking brain at this point, um, starting to look at the meals a little a little bit different, um, and and looking at them different, something that I knew for some time now, um, I feel like it's time to share. And I am sharing it, you know, here. I think I may have said it on Clubhouse before. But I've said it with some ladies, especially a crone that I speak to often. Um, so so many, you know, blessings to her. She is just, you know, truly divine. Um, and lovely divine, too. Like, um, like none of that rah-rah. I, I can be a little bit rah-rah, right? <laughs> I can be a little bit rah-rah, but, but none of that rah-rah with her. She is very, 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 very graceful and very, very loving. And it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's a beautiful, it's, it's, it's a beautiful croning energy that she has. It's wise and it's witty and it's honest and it's still so loving and so kind and so gentle it's amazing you know she's a goddess but anyhow when speaking to a crone um and in which i shared uh this opinion with and i and i just said i may have shared it with uh clubhouse while i'll be talking on clubhouse which is why y'all <laughs> Again, I'm going to reiterate the fact that Clubhouse is is not really the best space for me because um, even though it's a sacred space, it's to me and my sister in that space, and I'm going to freely say what I want, right? The fact that everybody can hear it, right? It's different when I come on YouTube and I have prepared what I wanted to say and how much I wanted to say, right? Um, and because I'm not speaking to anybody, I'm just, you know, sharing my opinions, my thoughts, and my views, or what I feel, um, and, and hoping that it, uh, it, 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 it is, um, a, a feeling that other black women is, are, are having, and, um, and that's that. I share as much as I want to. It's different when you're actually in those spaces with black women and, and your, your sister and you are, you know, just talking and just chopping it up. And you may have a thought and you share it and then they start throwing their thoughts in. And then we have a whole esoteric uh, rant in the public, <laughs> you know, <laughs> in the public space. And I just don't want to do that anymore, right? I just don't. I just don't want to do that. I don't want to, to, to share us in that way. So, yeah, that was another thing with Clubhouse. Anyhow, I am, of course, as you know, I'm starting a Discord. Some of you ladies are getting emails from me. Um, as I check my emails, I'm responding to your emails. Um. And as I said, I will have private conversations with every lady who is coming into the space because I want to um, be very protective of the space. And um, some of those questions, ladies, um, are, are going to be personal. And I don't mean personal like um, where you where you live at or, um, 
you know, your, your person sharing your personhood, but just in sharing some, um, experiences and sharing some, um, some, 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 some personal testimony of, you know, how you may have gotten here. And most of my, most of what I wish for you ladies to share with me and in coming into this space, I have mostly shared it all here on YouTube. <laughs> Um, because I do try to be transparent here and, um, in, in some spaces so that you, um, know that it's just not something that I just, this, this space that I exist in, I just, just, I did not just wake up and got here, you know, life had to teach me some lessons and that was how I arrived here and I would like to know some of the lessons that life taught you for you to arrive here and, um, so, if you're getting emails from me, please look out in your emails. I am emailing some ladies as I come across your emails um, today and um, um, to, to the crones. Of course, I am messaging uh, the crones for wise counsel, okay? Um, and not just um, the crones, but those women that I feel are tapped into that crony energy. I am messaging you for wise counsel today and... Um, just check emails and and just you know a little jab at the crones i think some of you i have to like come to your damn house and show you how to work discord like this is bad <laughs> this is bad and i know that I, I know that technology is here to like in in a sense right the meta verses and all of this is here to kind of silence the crones right to kind of confuse and to discombobulate them so they cannot figure out how to you know reach reach the the, the maidens and the mother seeking them right it's, it's, i i think that it it is a uh effort to to ensure that the crones are kind of like left out of the loop because um you know, I'm talking to crones and I'm just like, you know, just put Discord on your phone or just put it on your laptop and they are completely lost. And I'm just like, <laughs> and I, and I am a little bit, uh, you know, slow when it comes to tech as well. Um, and I, and I have started to think, you know what, this is a way for them to keep us disconnected. But, um, I, I, I plan to be very patient with those crones and to, to help those crones get that, um, get Discord on their phones or on their laptops or um, trying to get them to figure out how to maneuver it. Um, Clubhouse was totally out. Those crones didn't even try it. They was like, fuck it. I'm not even... And it was probably for their own safety, right? Um, I'm not even looking into Clubhouse, but um, most of you crone actual crones here are trying to figure out discord and i and i you know just just wait for me i'm coming i'm gonna come and i'm gonna help you get and and figure out discord and for the maintenance here because as i said i'm a little i'm a little slow too <laughs> you know? i'm a little slow too when it's coming to this damn discord i cannot figure out how to to um to like organize the discord so if you are a maid in here and you and you wish to be of some assistance to me please send me an email uh baby sis because i am i am lost on how to um make some of those discord channels and um and i, I need your help <laughs> please 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 come and help me um i think that's all I got for announcements. Yes, look out for your emails um, to the actual crones. You know, bear with me. I'm gonna, you know, come and just try to walk you through getting um, Discord on your devices via phone call, most of you. Um, and that means I have to tell you how to, like, download with app. I mean, yeah, like those anonymous phone things like text now whatever or google phone number whatever but anyway be patient i am i am i'm 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 setting things up also um and then of course to the to the maidens please come and help me please please sis <laughs> please please come and help me um and yeah send me an email if you're a maiden 
or even a mother or even a crone anybody that can come and help me with this discord and trying to organize it because i've been trying to do it on my own and it's um not the easiest thing that i've been doing um so i think that's it for announcements right i think that's all i got for announcements let's get into this topic and the topic is I'm circling, as you can see, I'm circling back around, y'all. <laughs> I got to circle back around to, um, to, 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 to white supremacy. And I, and I hate to do it because I know that we have done so much work to get the fuck out of that thought, right? Um, but I, I want to be specific about, um, some kind of, agreement between black males and white males or males of the patriarchy to, to suppress you or to, to suppress us and how black males roll in this um i don't even want to call it white supremacy like this suppression of the divine mother right and i don't want to call it the dark feminine i don't want to call it i don't want to call it um I want to call it what it is, and it's a, it is the divine mother or or goddess, right, or the goddess um, energy, right, or the goddess herself, right, in the suppression of her, and and how it's suppressed by suppressing you, right, suppressing black women. Um, I know it sounds very haughty when I get on. Um, the fact that black women are, um, the physical manifestation of God in this realm, goddess in this realm, right? Um, and I know that for black women to, um, accept that, it takes a bit of responsibility that black women may not be ready for, um, as a collective, but I think that crones and croning black women are, are ready to just say, you know, as my last video said, just, you know, take out L and go, okay? <laughs> you know, where, uh, as my video where I was talking about, you know, how white daddy is um, furious um, with us for not just, you know what, taking out L and go, just saying, you know, we fucked up, we made some mistakes as, as women and, you know, now the world is, you know, uh, turned upside down and we and we and not and not living in our divinity have to take some responsibility for that right because somehow we created rogue sons <laughs> rogue sons and um and what I wanted to get to was, I had said that the, all, the the first betrayal and the first sin was sons turned against their mothers in the past, right? And as I grow in knowledge and as I grow in um in 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 my crone energy, I'm I'm you know discovering a, a deeper a deeper understanding and there was a sin before the thugs decided to betray his mother and it was those women that created the fucking thugs in the first place to destroy her sister and um i'm experiencing experiencing that in real in my real life and a woman that i once considered a sister of mine and i see her um using her i'm watching in real time um anonymously right <laughs> because i have deleted all my socials and i'm not and i and i have not been in contact with this sister of mine but when i say you know this is a a black woman that i know personally in, in real life um that i have been you know in personal space with her in real life and i have you, you know i consider her a sister of mine and i and i'm watching her use her son um, to destroy black women I'm, I'm i'm literally watching it and unfold as we speak i'm watching her gaslight black women with her son 
Um, and, and I'm, and, and I really want to jump in and just be like, you know, I see your wickedness and I see your evil and I, and, and instead I just detached, right? I just completely just got the fuck away from her. Um, because I, for one, okay, this is the friend's um, that I said, you know, had the son on speakerphone, right? Um, uh, had me on speakerphone when she mentioned black males being leaders. And I was like, black males were never meant to lead, right? That's not, that's not their position in this realm, right? They, they, they're never going to lead anything, um, because they are, not, they are not meant to be leaders. They are meant to be led, right? Um, and, I said that her son was huffing and puffing in the background and I didn't know that she had me on speakerphone, right? But that's high treason, right? She's allowing her son to get a, a hate and a disdain for black women through me, right? By using me. And I, that was the first time I knew that she was on, had me on speakerphone. And since then I have not spoken to her, but I have never, um, I don't know how many times, how many conversations she had me on speakerphone exposing me, exposing my, um, my divinity and my knowledge to him. Because we had highly, um, highly, um, intuitive conversations, right? Um, where she, where I was sharing my knowledge and where she was sharing hers, um, I guess, <laughs> you know, she had any, well, I'm not going to say the sister ain't had no knowledge, she had some knowledge, right, and she was sharing hers, and I was sharing mine, and her son was listening, and that's high treason, right, that was a betrayal to me, and that ultimately is the first betrayal, right, um, and now she is now on the Facebooks, and I remember years ago, she had posted that her thons, her thons, and she's a mother of sons, right, and I can't, I can't, I, I want to get away from that, but I can't. I honestly cannot. Not only can I not, it's being confirmed time and time and time again um, that, that that black women who have sons um, are, are, are a bit, what is the word I want to use? <laughs> I want to be careful because I know that it's black women here um, who have sons. And, and I know that it's some, some deep spiritual work that you have to do that I don't know of because I don't have no fucking thons, um, because I don't have that fucking, um, whatever, whatever kind of deep spiritual work those sisters have to do to basically clean themselves, right? I don't have to do that because I did not have any sons and I cannot advise you on how to do it. But I wish that if you are a black woman and you, a black woman and you are coming into my space and you do have sons, that you are willing to be honest and that you are willing to be vulnerable and that you are willing to, 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 to share whatever it is, whatever it is that, that, that is in black women with sons that, and not even black women with sons, but the mother of sons, right, that title of women, um, whatever it is that is in them, and, and can it even be <laughs> cleared out, but I know anyhow that she is a mother of she is another black woman with a whole bunch of fucking sons, and no fucking daughters, and she had posted years ago on her Facebook page that her fucking sons was going to date out, you know, proudly. She was proud of it. And um, I responded to that. And I was like, you know what? My daughter would not, would not look for your fucking um, son. Like, you know, that's the real, that's the real shit. Um, and I'm not going to go all into bashing her and her fucking, you know, son. <laughs> and just you know explain to everybody here how he's fucking useless anyway and, and black women lose nothing and and losing these fucking thons but what I will say she made this post when he was younger and he may have been about 10 or 11 and now he is you know of, of age to start dating and she's posting she's gaslighting black women and she's making posts about how all of this divinity that is in her thon is not gonna go to a black woman 
And it's black women's fault because of the things that we say on the internet and the things that he hear on the internet. Okay. Uh, first of all, why your son on the internet all the fucking time instead of, you know, fucking reading? How about that? How about, how about you get your fucking done off the fucking internet listening to black women, um, cry out our pain and instead let his little ass read a fucking book or, or learn how to cut fucking grass or or do some fucking construction or you know help old miss mary down the street uh, but i wouldn't i wouldn't advise him to help miss mary down the street now because i know that that black dot on his heart has been activated right <laughs> you know that that black dot that's on in black males that about about 13 about about 12 to 13 is is and i'm gonna say i'm gonna say about 11 to 13 is waking up is being activated that hate in them has been activated in him and i don't want him around any old black women because those little fucking those little boys that go around old black women uh be cutting their grass they end up raping those old women right so at this point it's no saving your son your son is something at, at this point because the, you you know i don't know when you can save these fucking guns but what i do know is at this point hers is unsalvageable just throw him in the fucking trash throw him in a fucking garbage he is of no use right and because that that black dot in him has been activated and she is <laughs> and she is who made sure to activate it right um and she used me to do that she used me and she used other black women her own friends to 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 kind of manifest this hate in him and um the hate was already there right they're born with this fucking hate but you know the mothers of the fucking thuns are activating this in them and that is fucking high treason and you know i just i don't know i felt like i had to say that <laughs> black, <laughs> for black women that's here and you're dealing with black women uh, you know and, and 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 you're trying to figure your own if you're a mother of sons and you're trying to figure your own self out just try not to be be highly treasonous because it will not be forgiven right um it will not be forgiven and i think that a lot of the matricide see let those with ears hear this okay this is this is <laughs> this is not intended for those that are gonna come here and gonna be all uh you know not be able to hear this right but i think that those high matricide rates in black women are those fucking dirty ass thuns coming home to roost right and um i'm not saying that those women are deserving of it but 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 what i will say is oh y'all i got chills what i will say is if i find out 10 15 20 years from now that her dirty ass thun murdered her i would know why <laughs> what i will say is me personally and knowing this woman who is who is doing this work to betray her sister in in this way right um if her son killed her in 15 years i would understand why i would understand why the divine mother allowed that to happen i will understand um why it was necessary and 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 that's what i got all right so let's move on from that let's just move on from high treason i just thought that black women should get an idea of where high treason is and to you to you mothers of thuns try not to be high treasonous because it will it will not be forgiven and not only will it not be forgiven it will not be um just like i said it's no fucking um it's no fucking um these fucking apes are out here looking to repent and it's too motherfucking late um to her <laughs> to that friend of mine it, it's it you know there is no pardoning um she used me in that way and um and although i am ver i am very graceful when it comes to black women although i am very um very loving and very caring and very forgiving of black women who may be doing things that they may not be aware of but that kind of high treason 
you know, you know what the fuck you're doing, and it's gonna be no pardoning for you, and it's, and it's, and, and, you know, at this point, she has three fucking thons, she's already training the first one to, um, to, to hate black women, and, um, you know, she's activating that black dot in his heart instead of trying to fucking, you know, have him, you know, I don't know, what the, what the fuck black women can do with their fucking thons, but what I do know is that you do not activate it, right, you don't activate it, if nothing else, damn it, do not activate that black dot in your fucking thons, but she's activating it, and as a result, there will be no pardoning, okay, um, but let's just get to the topic at hand, right, let's get back to black men are not meant to be leaders, right, that's the bottom line. I know. I know that it's some fence sitting sisters over here. And and, and look, I, I love you just as much as I love all the rest of the Cronin women, uh, Cronin black women. But I need you to wake up, okay? I, I need you to listen. We in the final hour, okay? <laughs> We in the final hour, the work that we do now will save our daughters later, okay? The work that we do today will save our daughters later, okay? So what I need you to do is wake up, sis, fast. I need you to, I need you to wake up fast. Black males cannot be leaders, they can only be led. That's the bottom line. I know that you want your black king to come and you want him to, you want him to lead your house and you want him to, to, you know, be the head and you be the tail or whatever the fuck was going on in Blackistan. It's never gonna happen. Black males cannot lead, they can only be led. Um, and with that being said, they have chosen their leader. <laughs> they were given a leader, right? They were they came into this realm with a leader and his leader was his mother right that was who his leader was his leader was his mother and he's decided to not only not be led by her but to betray her and he has chosen a new leader and his new leader is white males i look i know it's hard for black women to know, to see this because um i read sojourner's passport and i loved it i loved it it did what it was supposed to do for me and I'm grateful for it. But one of the things that she kept on saying was black males took the crowns off of black women. And she was talking about dark-skinned black women and put it on light-skinned black women. Then he took the crown off of light-skinned black women and put it on white women or non-black women, the, the, the Latinas. But what he really did, sis, what he really did was he took the crown off of black women's head and put it on white males. Okay? That's what I need you to know, okay? So when we're talking about white supremacy and people being a tool of white supremacy and this is a tool of white supremacy, white supremacy, if you're talking about white supremacy being white males and their ruling patriarch, they have a, 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 a wonderful tool and it's called black males, okay? And, and what black males role is in this white males patriarchy is to control you, to be your handlers, to be black women's handlers, to, to make sure that she is always suppressed and that she never lives up into her, her goddesshood ever, right? That we never reach the point of goddesshood because if we reach the point of goddesshood, then the whole world is flipped right back as it should be. And patriarchy as a whole does not want that. Patriarchy as, as a whole does not want black women to be back on her square. Because if we were, right? In my last video, I had shared that. Um, and I, I, I really feel this in my, in my spirit. God damn it. Um, and, I have to, and, and I've been apologizing to myself for it. Um, one thing that I learned to do in, in phasing out of Blackistan and, and, and divesting was I had to learn to forgive myself, to be gentle with myself, to be kind to myself, right? To allow myself to make the mistakes or, or to live in the mistakes that I made and to, to understand that in some spaces I was, and this is something that black black women don't allow black women to be innocent, right? 
I realize, especially in BWE spaces, like we don't allow black women to be truly innocent. And I do think that in some instances, black women are truly innocent, right? Truly innocent. Um, so I allow myself, um, um, grace and mercy and understanding and I allow myself in the moments that I was truly innocent to have been that way right to to acknowledge that I, I I truly was innocent I truly did not know any better and there was no way for me to know right because I you know the the, the knowledge that I should have had was so far suppressed right was so far suppressed that there was no way for me to know any better right um <clears throat> black males did a very very good number um uh, and 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 suppressing us in that way right and and i mean historically right and we gotta go back we gotta we gotta go back and and in this discord that i am creating we must do a book club we must do a book club we must truly begin to read together <clears throat> and begin to share with each other um how we how we see the the what we learned or how we see how we see what we have read and be able to share with other sisters and be able to share how you read it and how i read it and, and just truly be able to connect the dots right we gotta we gotta go back because the further i go back the more the more i I feel like I I know and I learn and it may not always be although I in my if you study astrology in my natal chart is a lot of earth energy right it's a lot of earth uh, placements right and then having a lot of earth placements I like to know what I know right and I struggle with not knowing what I what I know without and, and I what I used to struggle before I began to crone and before I began to to tap into my own intuition and be okay with knowing something that was not proven right being okay with knowing something that I had no proof of um and that was something I struggled with in um and and croning and becoming a, a um you know a croning black woman i truly struggle with not having a lot of um water placements in my chart i have water placements where they count right but i have a lot of earth placements and and i like to know what i know which is why i am a reader i am a studier i like to read i like to know um, one thing that I say, and I, I, I like to know what I know, right? So when I say something, I want to be able to say, listen, this is how I know it because of this happening in history, right? But when we go so far back in history, it gets a little fuzzy, right? <laughs> it gets a little fuzzy. Um, when we go fur further back in history, when we go, when we go pe past or be, or, or go back into the time of history, we are, where women ruled right let's just call it where it was where women ruled where women led and where goddess reigned supreme right um once we get back into back that far black women you just gotta you just gotta feel it <laughs> you just you know you just gotta feel it because black males did such a good job at hiding this kind of history right and it was black males that did it he did, it was black males that hid this kind of history and he did it for <laughs> he did he literally did work for this this patriarchal structure that is led by white males right because again he, he he cannot he can't lead he can only be led right so when you're doing your work as a, as pro, as a pro black woman, right? You you learn that the Greeks stole all of the history from the 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 commissions and um and I think at some level it wasn't stolen. <laughs> I think at some level it was not stolen, right? I think at some point, black males 
and not being able to lead and deciding to not be led by their mothers and deciding to not follow matriarchal order, they decided that it would be best to just give, give, when I say our knowledge, I mean black women's knowledge, right? Our occult to white males. I really honestly feel like at some point, some black males just decided it was best for white males or the white patriarchy to have it versus a black matriarchy to have it. So they stole it from us and literally gave it to, to, to them. Like what? Like, what the fuck? So, and not dating black males and leaving black males where the fuck they at, right? I was good with that. Fuck them niggas and, you know, they never fucking deserved me. <laughs> they never fucking deserved me and, I'm, and I was moving on as I flee the Blackistan, as I fled the Blackistan. And, and now, in knowing this, right? And knowing that black males literally sold us out like that. Right, and we know, and we it's documented history that black males were selling us to Arabs, right, and to sex trafficking. Um, the first time that sex trafficking ever happened, the first time that human trafficking ever happened, it was black males selling black women, right? We know that that we know that is documented fact. Um, so so what makes <laughs> what makes us think that it could not have gone further, right? If they sold us out in that way, what makes us think that they did not sell us out in every way? In every way imaginable, black males, you know, sold out their mothers. And, um, and for me, and learning that, and, and living in that, um, and, and seeing it play out now with Roe versus Wade, right? And seeing black males... again sell us out like this right um and seeing how they are happy about what may how this may affect black women and seeing how they are in support of white males uh tyranny and seeing how they continue to just sell us out even though i had done the work of not you know being okay with not dating them um, being okay with their betrayal and their exalting non-black women and saying that everything about black women was ugly um, and and knowing about their hate um, for black women all of that I had dealt with right I had you know set in it but now in seeing this betrayal in real time right and watching it in, in the here and now watching black males betray black women um and sell us out like this again and again and again and again but actually seeing it not feeling it not reading it not um not knowing that it happened but in seeing it with my millennial eyes <laughs> and seeing it with my millennial eyes you know 34 year eyes are, are young okay um and if I think that 34 year old eyes is, are young, then imagine what I think about uh, 20, 21 year old eyes, right? Seeing it play out in, in real time, black males just selling us out like this. Um, it does kind of, um, I don't want to say it necessarily hurts, but it's just like, damn, y'all really selling us out like this? Um, when Roe versus Wade happened, the niggas was on, y'all. They were on Facebook putting numbers. <laughs> putting numbers out for you to call and report abortions. Um, and I'm just like, these niggas are selling us out again. And not us, right? Because us grown and black women, we belong to ourselves, right? Uh, we belong to ourselves. We are sovereign un unto ourselves. Um, and we we lead ourselves and we you know when we're not allow we're not allowing ourselves to be sold out by them because we are not connected to them in that way. But in seeing how the collective of black women <clears throat> are being sold out again, it's kind of like 
damn. This is who you are. This is who you are and this is always who you have been. And and you and and not wanting and your refusal and black male's refusal to be of service <clears throat> to black women. He has chosen. Like he's made this decision on his own at some point, at some point in history, right? They made this decision and this agreement with white males or the or the patriarchy of white males to be our handlers sometime in long ago history <laughs> sometime in long ago history they decided to to make a pact with white males to always be our handlers to continuously suppress us even if it meant that they would always be oppressed. They want to suppress us. It's it's like, I mean, I mean, it's like. Okay, I, I I'm trying to give you an example. It's like, at first I said, you know, these niggas set the house on fire and left, and and want to leave us in it. But now I'm realizing. And they set in the house on fire and they willing to stay in it and, and hold us and make sure that we don't leave it. You understand? Like they're willing to die. They're willing to, to die to make sure that we never live. Like what? Do y'all get it? They are willing to die to make sure that we never live. Oh my goodness. That is that is exactly what it is. They are willing to die to make sure that we never live. They are choosing their space and in, in this in in this realm right now. They you know, they are consciously choosing their space in this realm right now. And black women, you have got to get the fuck away from them because they are choosing your space. They are choosing your space, right? Uh, and and I don't want to say it's so when I'm saying that black women have some ways in which we were truly innocent, right? I'm talking about in, in my lived my lived experiences of not knowing this kind of history and not knowing any better and, and choosing um and choosing life that a life that was not always um beneficial to me right it was not always in my best interest um and in those places for instance getting pregnant at 14 <laughs> you know in that space i was truly innocent and it took me a very long, and I, I punished myself severely, um, for getting pregnant at 14. I didn't punish my daughter, but am, I, I, looking back in it, in my subconscious mind, I punished myself severely. Um, but I was truly innocent in that situation. And a lot of black women are truly innocent in, in the situations that we end up in, especially when it comes to, um, um, molestations and, and rapes and um abuses done to us as children um and even in that right i want to say in having a daughter right i was still in, in some way i was still blessed right because i could have I could have had a son to continue his father's job, right? To continue his father's job of destroying me, right? And and that's really what you ladies who have sons, right? And you and I know, I know that I, I ain't no black woman not battling her son. Like I'm convinced of that. Like <laughs> at this point, it's no black woman with a fucking son who is not battling him. And um and what what ends up happening is 
like my um old girlfriend um uh, who has com who has committed high treason against me against the black woman collective and um uh, against um the divine mother right she's committed high treason um some black women just choose to just um be at their son's feet right instead of battling him instead of fighting with him instead of I, I, I mean, I don't know how you win this battle with your fucking thumbs, black women. But uh, instead of fighting, right, some black women just decide to give in and they just decide to just, you know, bet betray their sis sisters over their, their um, betray their sisters, betray their daughters, betray the likeness of a black women, you know, collective. And that's what she's chosen to do. And... I really hope in this space that I could cultivate a space for the mothers of sons who are fucking battling those fucking sons and just, um, for, for women who, for crones who have, who have won that battle, <laughs> who have won that battle with their sons all, all, all short of putting his ass in a fucking tub and drowning them, right? That, that wasn't nice, y'all. Don't put your fucking dirty ass thuns in fucking tubs and drown them, okay? <laughs> let me let me go on record and saying that don't put your fucking dirty ass thuns in fucking um tubs and drown them. But what I will say is is that I hope to um to figure out to, to make a, a space for black women who have battled their sons and who have you know lived to tell the story right and and they can be of advice um and they can be as you know they can offer some advice to women who are deciding not to just give in not to just you know offer black women up for the slaughter um to your fucking sons and to instead you have decided to 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 fucking war with him and and i can decide not to war with black men right because <laughs> i ain't birth none they not my problem I ain't birth no fucking thuns, so I don't have to war with no fucking thuns. But for black women who who do have thuns, as as you know, what what I will say, if you have small sons, just just you know, truly truly, do the best you can with them. At this point in the year twenty twenty two, and in the year twenty twenty two, if you have a fucking son, I am. I mean, like, you're, you're getting pregnant with a black male son. I am considering you a fucking enemy to me. Flat the fuck out. Flat the fuck out. If, if, if you have a, if you are getting pregnant in the year of our mother, 2022, and you get pregnant with a fucking son, I am labeling you an enemy to black women period no if ends or buts about it no if ends or buts about it because i feel like the collective consciousness of black women at some point even if we don't all know everything we know enough to not be having you know even since your g over there saying take your ass to the fucking uh chop shop she you know she knows better she knows better and she's advising black women and buys a, uh, tens of thousands to go to the chop shop and to not have fucking sons. So I know that it is a collective consciousness of black women knowing not to create any more fucking black boys. I know that that, 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 that alarm has been set. And if you are choosing to do that as of today, as of today, you're an enemy to black women. No if ands and buts about it. Now, if your if your fucking thuns already here, okay, sis, let's figure out what to do from here. <laughs> you know, let's figure out what to do from here. But if you uh, and I'm not even gonna say, yeah, 2022. If you got pregnant with a fucking thun, you you're an enemy to black women. You're an enemy to black women. I mean, I. I don't, 
for one, I don't even know how black women are still having sons. Like, I, I, I really don't get it. I don't get how we're still having sons. Like, where the fuck is that masculine energy coming from? Well, it's coming from within us, obviously, right? Um, yeah, never mind. The masculine energy is, is coming within from within us, right? We're creating these fucking sons because, um, instead of doing the work ourselves, we want our sons to do it, Right? And black women think that their sons, uh, their sons will be the cure, right? You think that at some at some level you're gonna have these sons who are gonna um, come in and, and be the cure to um, our suppression when he is not the cure, he is the suppressor. <laughs> when it is his role to suppress you that's his role in this in this realm that is a black male's role to suppress black women and not oppress right no to literally suppress them to know to know the power within us and to always make sure that it never um it never bubbles over the top and we never live in our goddesshood and black males do it and mating with us right and and all constantly suppressing us because they are beneath us. Um, but at this point, I'm, I'm at, at this point, knowing what I know, I truly believe that um, and 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 and, and, and experiencing the things that I have experienced in my life with meals, um, no, <laughs> I'm just gonna say you know no no. Mm -mm. Um, but they made with us to fucking wage war on us. Then they have these fucking retarded sons. And god damn it, I'm I'm just gonna say it. I'm I'm just gonna say it. Oh my gosh. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. I just never had an epiphany for a friend with um Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, and having these fucking retarded sons that we end up stuck with for years, they never fucking grow. And I don't mean, <laughs> and I don't mean like literally, you know, I mean retarded in the actual, uh, definition of retardation, but I also mean retarded and as in the stunting, the, the stunting of, of, of black males where they never grow anyway right they always live at home with their mothers they never really get out of her hair they're always a constant problem for her for the rest of her life um and you know i i i have viewed that and i have learned that is um a tactic of war um for black males they that your sons are even warring with you they never they they want to suppress you they never want you to reach your true goddesshood they never want you to to truly live in your divinity and 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 they make sure of it by always um being a fucking problem for your entire fucking life until you you know until they kill you one way or the other until they kill you one way or the other um and I think this was just a little ramble at this point, you know. But the point of the video is to say that black males' position in this realm is to be your handlers. To be our handlers. And they have been assigned this position. Uh, no, not they have been assigned it. They have chosen, right? They have chosen this position in, in spite of you. <laughs> in spite... I know y'all sound really congested, right? It's allergy season, and, and I, in general, I just, um, I'm very nasal in how I talk, right? But anyway, these sons, um, have chosen this position in spite of you, in spite of us, right? They have decided, you know, she will never live in her divinity. She will never, you know, um, be able to be back on her square in which in, in which the world is hers right and instead of and to make sure of it i will give it to white males first <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck i know that sounds far fetched but i'm telling you that's what the fuck these niggas did they decided i will make sure that she never reach her, reaches her fullest potential by you know continuously warring with her 
in every single way imaginable. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some time and tell you in all the ways that black males are warring with us and and whipping our asses at this war, mind you. And when I say I, I don't mean us crony women, but I mean the black woman collective. Um, the black woman collective um, and making sure that we, you know, never really reach our divinity um, and and they are not alone what, I, I, what I'm here to say is they are not alone and not wanting us to reach our divinity they are um, they they have decided to, to, to instead of instead of us Instead of us running, not running, but instead of instead of the world being ours, they have you know decided to to take it and give it to to the white male's patriarchy. That's that's wild, but that's what's happening, ladies. So in the middle of the day, <laughs> I'm gonna post this video. I hope that you ladies are well. I know everybody's at work, but me. <laughs> Because I needed a mental health day. And you know. Look. When I called out. From work. And let them know. Listen. I'm not going to be able to make it in. They said. Any reason why? Uh, yeah. I need a mental health day. Yes. <laughs> so. If you're a black woman. And you. And you know. You're calling to let them know. You're not going to be at work. You just let them know. Listen. I'm not coming into work today. I need a mental health day. Okay. You know, why is Eddie gonna let you off the hook? And let me tell you why why is Eddie gonna let you off the hook. He don't look. The the, the truth truth be told, white males know that it's something about black women, but they don't really know what it is. You know <laughs> like, they know white males know like it's something about these women that is fucking goddess like. Like, if they really lived in their power, they would be able to weld it in any way they wanted. And that would be not, you know, that, that would take me off of my square. So I don't really know what it is that's going on with black women. But what I do know is I want them to be where the fuck they are. <laughs> so, and, and then black males come in because they know these niggas fucking no right their souls are old enough to remember right these ancient goddesses and these ancient women who were um divine and and lived and and in a way lived like goddess lived like a goddess right she thought something and it was she said something and it was right um she needed something and it was given to her right See, they actually saw it, right? <laughs> White males were still in the caves, or as the as the as the Bible say, you know, they were over there. They were the other people over there. Um, so they really they really didn't see it with their own eyes, right? They didn't see this magnificent woman. They didn't see her and and her or us in all of our glory, right? They just know that it's there, but black males witnessed it. Black males witnessed it and they know that it's there and and they have a, a vested interest in not, you know, making sure that we don't live in that black males. But, but white males also know it's something about that black woman. Like, I don't really know what it is. Um, as, as one of, um, as, as a crone that I, you know, adore, that I mentioned earlier, she said, you know, we get to twerking, we get to, uh, not twerking, but yeah, twerking, we get to twerking, we get to moving, we get to walking, we get to existing, we get to being, we get into their spaces, and they are just like, something, it's something powerful about this woman, it's something powerful about this woman, and if she really lived in that power, um, the, the the world would not be as I as I see it as I as I like it as I want it to be is what male, white males are thinking right they're thinking like you know it's something powerful about this woman and I just and I just wish wait a minute I don't know if I'm still talking hold up I touched my laptop and it went off oh, okay yeah I am 
But yeah, it's something divine about this woman. Don't really know what it is, but I just don't want her to live in it. Because if she lives in it, then I may have a problem. And and that's where they are. That's where the white males are and black males are like, I know what the fuck it is. And I never want to see her in that kind of power again. And and then, and then uh, you know, the whole world is, you know, a little, a little hit to it. The whole world is a little hit to it. The Asians, they know it's something about her. You know, of course, white women know it's something about her. That's why they love to see us, you know, suppressed, right? That's why everything we fucking touch, they try to, you know, run over and um, have a little bit of it too, you know? <laughs> anything anything we do, it they, they don't matter if it's negative or positive. Anything that black women do, white women come in shortly after to get it done, right? And, um, you know white males and and in the collective and black males and you know all of the collective have, have have decided to you know exalt her in a way that makes us feel away as a collective and you know it's look look as john henry clark said i don't know how long ago but it was some time ago when he said you know, you have no allies, black people. Listen, he wasn't talking to black people. And he, look, he, and, and I truly believe that those master teachers, and I'm using quotes here, I, I truly believe that I truly believe that, that the males, at least, did not know. Um, exactly what was going on but i but let me tell you this i think that francis francis cross welsing knew and i think that she was disingenuous i think that francis cross welsing absolutely knew um the, the 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 true reasons why black women live in the way that we do and she too chose to be a mother of sons oh god the betrayal is too deep y'all the betrayal of black women by black women is too it's too it's too heavy it's too heavy but francis crest wells and she made a mistake god damn it and i'll never forget it because when i read it after i read that fucking uh crest Wellsing, what was it theory of colors or whatever the fuck after I read that book and I realized all the fucking glorifying the, um, of, of black males and their fucking, uh, HIV dick, right? <laughs> and their fucking, um, sexually transmitted disease dick. At the end of the book, I need to, look, I got a lot of books in storage. And I need to, I, we need to circle, listen, damn it. In this discord, y'all, we need to circle back around. I'm telling you, you got to start going back and reading some of this shit with your fucking crony eyes because it, it, it hits different. <laughs> it, it hits different now. But I know at the end of Francis Crest Wells, I'll buy it again so I can give you the exact. We're going to read it. We're going to read it <laughs> again. But I remember at the end of the book, she, she placed the charge of... Um, the black race saving it in the laps of black women and i'll never forget how i felt and 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 when i read that i felt like i i felt like it was it was like um it made me feel kind of powerful right and what she was really doing was you know basically you know allowing us to have the the freedom to be the goddesses that we are and we get to decide you know does this continue or does it end, right? And um, I can talk about how what I think later. Do we do we continue or, or do we end it? But but the point I'm trying to make is even though she was acting as a mother of thun, she activated something in me that had me know that that this power was mine or ours, right? And um, that probably, you know, that, you know, I guess, you know, a little pardoning, <laughs> a little pardoning can be, um, can be, can be done, you know, maybe she was, she was trying to, you know, save herself in some kind of way by at least, you know, dropping that little bit of knowledge on black women. Um, she also talked about the power of black women's sexuality, 
and um that's enough you know that's that's what's happening uh for the most part I, I, you know, we, we gonna be demonized for our sexuality, but, you know, it, it is a, it, it's a, it's a superpower, damn it, and, um, we're, we're, we're using it wrong, <laughs> we're using, we're using it wrong, we're using it wrong, and I know, um, I know I've used my wrong, I, look, I have gotten into this, into this space where, Y'all ain't none, of, ain't none of the, ain't near male deserve to, to experience me in the way that these, the ways that they have. And I mean that shit. Ne, not near male regardless of his race and, and, you know, I didn't, um, you know, <laughs> I didn't, you know, been around the, 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 the racial block, okay, um, as, as far as my sexuality is concerned and none of those males deserve to experience me in that way and I mean that shit um and I, and I think that we can be a bit more um responsible in that kind of power yeah so I think I didn't ramble long enough you know I'm gonna go now I hope you ladies enjoyed your uh Wednesday and the rest of your week um Yeah, I, I, I love you ladies. I hope that you guys enjoy the, the rest of your week. And um, please be looking out for emails from me if you uh, email me. And also, if you wanted to be in a private Discord, um, uh, please um, send me an email. Um, have a good week, ladies. Be safe and take care of yourselves.